Hello everyone. Welcome back to Railway Junction. Hope you are liking our videos. So today I'm going to talk about one of the best kept secrets of electric locomotive that is control electronics. You will come to know about the local functionality or operation, but there is a few information about the control electronics available in the market. So today I'm going to reveal you the details of control electronics in electric locomotive. So what we are going to see in this video, let's have a quick look. So we want to see what the control electronics are kept. So we know that there is a computer or control electronics present in the locomotive, but where it is kept, it's a single place or it is distributed. We'll come to know about that in this video. We'll come to know about the control system architecture, that how the network is built and how the architecture is made and what happens in case of a failure. Then we'll come to know about the converter control function. In this case, we'll come to know that how a single phase 25 kV board kV supply is converted into a three phase motor supply with around 2180 volts in case of a three phase locomotive used in India. And the last is the vehicle control function where we'll come to know the, how the inputs are taken and the, how the outputs are given to the drivers and for the interfaces. So first we'll come to know about the location of the control electronics. So control electronics is a distributed architecture and the electronics are kept in various places in the locomotive. So first to speak about, there are two units called vehicle control units. So vehicle control unit one and vehicle control unit two. These two are responsible for the input and output and the control functionalities and which gives the details of the driver interface and the diagnostic features. Then we have the converter controls. The converter control, it takes care of the main power generation to the traction motor. The next one is the auxiliary converters. In a three-phase electric locomotive, we have three auxiliary converters and the auxiliary converter takes care of the auxiliary functionalities such as traction motor blower, oil cooling unit and other such as machine room blower and cab heating, air conditioning features, all the stuff. And there is one more feature of the control electronics and is located with the vehicle control unit that is the train bus. The train bus takes care of the communication between two locomotives. And if you see from here, it's throughout the optic fiber or MBV cables, it is connected between the whole architecture. And in this way, the control electronics is distributed and located inside the machine room of the locomotive. So now let's look at the level of the control electronics. Control electronics is mainly divided into three levels. That is the train control level, where is it is the control between two trains. So if you are doing a multi-operation of the locomotives or trains, in this way, the train control level comes into the picture and it does the operation between the vehicles. The next one is the vehicle control level. It is done within the vehicle and what are the main function of this is the coordination between subsystems. So driver inputs, talking between two subsystems like auxiliary converter and a main converter. All this happens in this vehicle control function. And the third level is the drive control. This is one of the backbone or the main feature of the control electronics that is drive control. What it does, it does the traction control, auxiliary control, and it also does the brake interface for the pneumatics as well as it has doing for the regenerative brake system. Now look at the architecture of the control electronics. So if you see, there are two bus running along the vehicle. So one is the vehicle bus, one is the train bus. So if you see from the train bus, the train bus speaks with the another locomotive present next to the main locomotive. This is mainly a WTP connection happens between the two trains through a UIC coupler. And another thing is the vehicle bus. The vehicle bus connects the all the distributed electronics like control electronics one, control electronics two, traction converters and control electronics of the auxiliary converters. So let's look at the terminologies what we have here. If you see the SR, it is called as the traction converter. Then ALG is called as the drive control unit. SLG is called as the converter control unit. In drive control unit, we have the line converter unit and the inverter control unit. So this is called as NSC and AC. This is present in both traction converter. Then we have the auxiliary 
converter those are called bur bur1 bur2 and bur3 the bur1 is placed in one cubicle and bur2 and bur3 is placed in another cubicle then if you come to the vehicle control box or the sb panel where the vcu is placed here you will find the functionalities of the vehicle control and then you have the vehicle bus administration then you have the train bus administration one thing you are i would like to notice out to you or point out to you is that the train bus function or the train bus administration is placed in only the central electronics one and then we have the diagnostic controls which takes care of the fault and the diagnostics then we have the display data control so what are the display you want to place for the driver or the assistant driver okay now let's talk about the converter control function now you can see the architecture of a standard converter in the bottom and the line diagram on the top so now i'm going to explain how the converter function works the converter control function has mainly two operations that is drive control and second one is the converter control in the drive control function if you see from here you have the drive control electronic placed in the electronics cabinet and what it controls is the line converters so what is the line converter this is the line converter present out here and as single line diagram you can see this is the converter what is the function is that of the line converter we are going to explain so what it does it converts ac single phase into a dc voltage so this is the primary functionality of a drive converter then it takes care of the control of dc link so what is the meaning of control of dc link so in the dc link control we have two functionality one is supply of dc link from the converter during driving and supply of dc link back to converter during the braking operation then another function is the converter does is the control of the line circuit so if you see a pre-charge a pre-charging operation and the pre-charging contactors are taken care by the line converters then to know how much effort we need at the motors it takes care of the generation of firing pulses of the line converter and the next one is the motor converter control where is you can see the as soon as the inverter so if you see from here these are the inverter module present in the traction converter and the electronics is placed here in the control cabinet of the converter what are the functions taken care by the motor converter controls it converts the dc voltage into a three phase voltage and it controls the motor current it takes care of detection of the rotational speed and also what it does it takes care of the generation of the firing pulses for the motor converter now if we see here the converter control function the converter control function is present over here in the box and what it takes care is coordination between the controllers so coordination between the line converter and the motor converter then it takes care of the addition control what does it mean by addition control addition control is nothing but control of the slip slide function so this is very important while it does the tractive effort or the braking effort by a locomotive then it takes care of the monitoring of the characteristics curves so what it takes care is takes care of the tracting and braking effort maximum velocity maximum power it is taking care in this function packet and the last but not the least is the generation of desired tractive and braking effort values now if we come to the vehicle control function the vehicle control function what are the main things what it does it does the control of the bogey warming so it checks the converter and it does arm the bogey so this is like enabling the bogey powers which is one by the vehicle control the next is speed diagnostics from the wheel die entered by the train crew or the loco pilot while in rotation this vehicle control function detects the speed and does the speed diagnostics characteristics of the locomotive then comes the control of max min values so what is the max min values we are talking about we are talking about the max min values of the maximum current drawn by the converter or the minimum voltage what is present in the catenary 
or the temperatures in the traction motor or in the coolant those temperature values even the pressure values in the coolant line are taken care by the maximum value control function the next is processing of input and output signals so what is this this is like driver does the functionality of moving a throttle arm and this data is being taken care by the vehicle control unit and it processes the data sent it into the bus and how much tractive power it is getting it gets back from the converter from the motors and it gives to the driver in the driver display or in the gauges present in the driver desk so this is the processing of input and output signal another feature is interaction with other loco so the train bus control comes into the picture here how much traction will be required from the multi loco that is defined by the vehicle control function last but not the least is the diagnostic and display function so in case of any failure or fault diagnostic and display function is one of the key aspects for troubleshooting and taking the vehicle along the track and to keep the drivers update about the health condition of the locomotive this is also taken care by the vehicle control function so this here you can see the vcu the vehicle control unit is present in a sp panel and the traction converter inside traction converter we have the alg and slg unit hope you have liked our video thank you for watching if you like our video please subscribe to get the technical updates and click the bell icon so whenever i upload a new video on the technical aspects of railway you will get to know it first thank you for watching